Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial and today I'm gonna make this electric beam and in this first tutorial I'm just gonna focus on this electric beam here and explain how it works how you work with particle strip and then in the, in the second tutorial we're gonna focus on making this one so first just the basics how it works and then kind of make a little bit cool stuff out of it and as you figure out, maybe this is the um, asset we used from the previous uh, tutorial. So I'm going to show you, well, actually not this one. So we need to make that one. So that will be fun. But um, yeah, I'm going to, um, hmm, or I will add it in the, uh, actually this ball I will add in the description in the next tutorial. And this mesh too. And if you want this material, you can just follow the previous tutorial where I did the fire ring but in this tutorial you need nothing about this we will do everything from scratch so let's start from an empty scene so we're gonna have this one and uh, this is as i said from the previous uh, tutorial and it would look like this in the last one so but now we're gonna have some bluish instead so this is cool and we're not going to use this in this tutorial but in the next one so now we're going to focus on making just a beam and then let's understand how that works so we're going to do a visual effect graph and i'm going to do an empty vfx and i'm going to just build it and explain to you how it works and the reason i didn't pick the empty one or the minimal one is because we're gonna have um first off let's see please work i do work good spawn we're gonna have a spawn first we you all you always have that but then you want the strip things you want initialize particle strip and when you have that you also want an update update particle it will automatically automatically be a strip and then we're gonna do out output um, particle strip urp lit quad because i'm using urp render pipeline so now we have the, have this basic setup and in the spawn we're going to do a periodic burst <clears throat> so that means here we do delay so it will spawn and then it will wait one second, spawn again and wait one second. So each second we will spawn 10 beams. So that's cool and I will explain it uh, later. And strip capacity, we're going to be able to do thousands of strips in this setup. Uh, but we will only do a few, but that's the kind of the max roof. And particle per strip count, we're going to do 10. And so we here we can do an integer and that's going to be the resolution. So unfortunately we can't plug it in like this. Um, but the resolution will be the same here as here. So if we also do like this integer and we do beam. So the beams is set to default one and um, we're just going to do a multiply. So what we're doing now, we tell the system that the beam going to have one beam and the re uh, each beam going to have 10 particles as a resolution. So then we plug it in here and you see now it says 10 here. So let's say if we do five beams, we have 50 because each beam need 10 particles. So that's, it's going to be 50. We're going to start with one though, and um, we're actually two. So down here, you see, um, yeah, well, that's kind of, you see strip index. So what we need to do here, we need to actually get the particle id get particle id and um, we need to 
divide this with the resolution resolution so let's say like this if the particle id is 1 and up to 10 it will only be uh, 10 particles which means it will be contained in the first um, um, the first strip but um, so this means we have, this is kind of um, hmm, how to say it we're going to make sure that the uh, that the particle ID is only 10 in each uh, strip so here we put in um, 10 particles and then we're going to go up to 10 we start from 0 again and go up so we kind of beat it with the particles that's going to be in one strip so because we just want 10 particles but yeah so 11, uh, number 11 will be 1 again but the ID will be 11 so it kind of keeps track on that and here we're going to have set lifetime and uh, we're going to do a half second which means the, par the particle will uh, burst each second particles but they will only be survived for a half second so one half second on and one half second off with Nubi. so and um, here in the update particle soup we need to do set position um, sequence a sequential line so we can just move that one down and we need to do some stuff here too and um, let's see how to do this so is this correct well let's see particle id custom so we want to do custom because then we have count here too so the count each line will have count a resolution so we have the resolution here so we're gonna have the resolution to 10 so that's nice and we want the <clears throat> we want the particle index uh, strip so what we do we do particle index in strip particle index in strip and uh, we have it here in the index so now you see it's starting to happening something here but we are not done yet it's going to be more stuff going on so um here you can actually see what's going on so it's going from x position zero to one so if we increase here you have the start is zero 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 and end is one so if we stretch this one or actually we can just do in upward now we have um now we don't see it and um so one thing we need to do here is to do orientation or orient orient and we're gonna have the um, camera position so now the particle is facing the camera so here you see it it's, it's not super good but um it's actually using the default uh, round uh, particle texture so we're going to change that and have something um, squarish so take take a texture that you have so um, actually I'm gonna um, do some square thing I'm gonna look for a square that's good I want a square now you see we're starting to get it and um, this is one beam with 10 particles so and um, this is actually two beams on top on each other so here you have the um, here we have the start and end so i think if we do like this because this is the index strip so we have um, if we plug this one into the x now you see we will have two and uh, we're gonna plug it in here too no sorry 
I'm saying wrong. This is a particle index and strip. We're going to have the strip ID. Particle strip. Particle strip. Where is it? Particle count. No, we can't do it like that. I think we if we do a random number instead. Uh, we can do part uh, per particle or per particle strip. So if we plug this to X. Now uh, we can do five, four here to get more. So now we see we have two different ones because each particle strip get the random number between zero and four. So that's why you see them acting like this. So this is how you do it. So let's say if we do beams and we do four beams, now we have four or 11. Now we have 11 beams or one. So that's how you do it. So, um, and um, yeah. So we also want um, to fix this um, color. So um, do set color like this and then we're going to have also a color here. And this should work, shouldn't it? Yeah. And also this color going to be, yeah, we're going to do electric one. We can do intensity to two maybe. So here we have starting to get the electric uh, beam. Super nice. So it's still, yeah, it worked, doesn't it? Mm, yeah. So uh, even though I do high values here, it doesn't seem to um, uh, be really bright. So I think we need to do our own shader to make it work. So we're going to make a really quick one. So create, and we're going to make a um, uh, shader graph, URP, and we're going to have unlit shader graph. This is going to be the uh, stone ring electric particle. So I'm going to open it up and this one, it's going to be so easy. We are just going to make sure we make a color to it like this. Super good. Any color. And of course the color is going to be HDRP. Maybe that's what's uh, needed to be done. And in the graph setting, super important, uh, support VFX graph. We need to take that one and it won't cast shadows. And then we do save asset. So now in here, we're going to do open up here. So not this one, but this one is the one that we're going to pull in here. And then we just plug the color in the, um, it's supposed to come up a color here. So I'm going to go in here again and save and see if that works. Sometimes I need to go in and save in the shader again, shader again and now it did work. Good. So now you see we get this light stuff. So we just needed to make our own shader. Cool. So and we have this orient. That's perfect. So um, now we now we actually made uh, the base of this. So now we're just going to make a circle of it. So we have, um, yeah, it, so we have the ring set up. So to do this, we're going to do, we have, a, we need to use cosine, we need sine, we need a vector. So um, now we're going to make this um, random number again. So for each, uh, for each per particle strip, we're going to make a cosine value and a sine value. And cosine, it's good to plug it in X um, and sine in I. It feels like um, I always do like that. That's my kind of default. Uh, cosine seems to be on the X axis. X -axis, uh, axis. Then we're going to do like this. If we do pi, and do two pi. So now we actually 
uh, do a random number between zero and six point uh, and two pi, which means we're actually creating particles around the circle with this. So if we just plug this one in in the start and we remove this one, now our particles should um, and remove this four here. Now we see they start to go in the circle. So if we do the beams, if we do 10 beams, how oh, you see it works here, right? Cool. So this is how you do it. And um, a really smart, smart or smart, but you know, trick you can do, multiply. If you just multiply this one and we do a copy of it, then you can just adjust where it should start and where it should end. So, um, I do like this. So what I do, I actually actually using the same value, and because it's a circle, you can just expand or decrease it. So, and if we look here now, it have the same value, so it doesn't really work. But if you do like this, now you see, you can control it like this. So if we do this to one. And we do the color here to one. Now you see we can control it like this. So this is the base setup for doing this um, thing, stone core that we're going to continue with in the next tutorial. So I really hope you like this and thank you so much for watching and see you in the next tutorial.